What, that big thing? You don't need that. You can fit the full power of AMD's Ryzen platform in the palm of your hand. Oh, what? You want more GPU? Well, guess what? She goes in, boom, right like that. All the GPU you could need. No compromises, no strings attached, zero problem. Hey, this doesn't this actually have your compromises. Wait, there are compromises. Oh man, well that sounds like a big problem for a little computer. And I'm about to get big money from a little segue to our sponsor. Crucial, don't just work faster, work better. Crucial's DDR5 RAM is engineered for efficiency so you can load, transfer, and download files faster with less lag time and more efficiency. Get your Crucial DDR5 RAM today using the links below. It's been about a year and a half since we last covered Minis Forum and while we were on break, they have received some pretty bad press. Both Gamers Nexus and Der Bauer found them guilty of both false advertising and some pretty embarrassing product design mistakes around liquid metal. Now, from our perspective, both of those seemed more like gross incompetence than malice. So we're hopeful that Minis Forum has cleaned up their act because this thing looks pretty freaking exciting. This puppy, the Elite Mini B550, features a desktop grade CPU in a full fat AM4 socket, meaning you can BYO CPU. Party at Mini's Forum. The IO is good, but not groundbreaking. You got two and a half gig LAN, dual HDMI. That's nice to have. But if we flip over to the bottom, we've got these external power connectors. That's a four pin, and that's some kind of weird 10 pin thing. What the devil is that for? Then over on this side, we've got a little window for the discrete graphics card interface. Hold on just a gosh darn minute, ex discrete graphics card interface. What the devil are you? Oh, no way! <gasps> it's a full PCIe 16X male interface. This is a lot of expandability for a system like this. Two and a half inch drive, dual 80 millimeter M.2s. There's your Wi-Fi card, and then and this. Trays, interesting. Oh, wow. Basically, your system goes here, and you put a discrete graphics card on it. You've got dual DDR4 SODIMM slots. These are populated by Kingston modules. Did we provide the modules or did it ship as it a ship with it? But you're also still connected by a cable. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Don't, worry. Don't worry about it's it. It's a little delicate cable. Then we've got a large, more almost like a GPU style cooler on it. Really flat, really broad with what appears to be an 80 millimeter fan. Minis Forum markets the system as user upgradable. And while I do have my concerns about the ease of that upgrade, especially in light of these extremely difficult to connect uh, Wi Fi antenna cables. The fact that it does have a completely standard AM4 socket means that, yes, technically you can do that. Well, I shouldn't say completely standard. We can already see, having removed the two and a half inch drive bracket, that the backplate for the CPU is not an AM4 standard backplate. Okay, so it's like a totally normal AM4 socket. You just don't have any of the additional like mounting points around it or anything. Um, it comes with a 5700G. Oh, that makes a ton of sense. Got that onboard graphics in case you don't hook up a discrete GPU, but still great performance. That's an eight core. And that's our thermal paste application because we had to troubleshoot this computer. It was crashing all the time. Switched out every single part and it ended up being the CPU. Oh, like it was a the bad one, one. The one that they shipped us ended up being the problem. Wow, it's, we very rarely see a <laughs> I know. bad CPU. The cheapest configuration is bare bones which is no CPU, no RAM, no SSD, that comes in at $400. $400 for a motherboard, cooler, power supply, and you also get the external. Yep. That's actually not that stupid. No, not, not bad at all. And the full spec is $900. Okay, I'd probably build it myself then. I can see where this bracket goes now. That's pretty obvious. Um. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's show you guys the party trick. <laughs> Just like that, 
And that PCIe slot, the male slot, essentially is plugged into an extender now that turns it into a female slot, meaning that you can either run the onboard GPU or put a full, fat, discrete GPU on this thing with functionally no size limitations. I mean, is this the biggest card you got? Uh, we have a bigger one. Wait, is this that dead one though? It is a dummy one. Oh, for... Well, no. <laughs> if you have a triple slot card and a large shroud on it, it may actually interfere with this little piece of the bracket here. That seems like something they could have solved pretty easily by having it not do that. We could fix it with a Dremel, but we're not gonna bother. The confusing part right now, though, is how does power work for all of this? Clearly, we've got our wall brick that plugs into, there you go, the PC itself. There are these kind of internal power supply looking cables here. Oh my goodness, what the devil is this? You do need this. These are extension cables of which we do not know the pin layout. They're male to male mm -hmm. and they go straight ahead. They intend for you to use these with your PSU. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> because if your pinout is not the same, you will fry your system. Luckily, they've informed us that they are not actually including these in the final release, which is good. It's a very good way to protect consumers. Just like how our hats are a good way to protect your skin from the sun. <laughs> LTTstore.com. Get a dad hat. 24 pin connector in here then. Boom. Just like that. Goes to the modular interface on our SFX power supply here. This is a pretty cool little unit from Silverstone, 80 plus platinum, 750 watt. You absolutely do not have to use a fancy one like this. Just any random desktop ATX power supply would work. What is that power? What is that 12 volt for? That'll be for your CPU, I think. Well, no, because you, your CPU has to be able to be powered by or, the brick. No, you don't power it. You do not have the brick plugged in at the same time. It's all gonna be through this PSU. Well, it's not the kind of thing Apple would make. <laughs> Apparently a bracket for the power supply is coming. Yeah, there's no details on their website about which power supply will be supported by the bracket. I mean, for now, this is pretty... It's something. You ready for the big moment? Hope we plugged it in all right. You said there was some uh, <clears throat> troubleshooting. Uh, well, this, it worked before. <laughs> hey, it's working. Classic. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? She's booted! It's working! It's working! This really is not that small. I actually measured it all out. Yeah. To Because I was like, if you put this the power supply right here, yeah. it's just a sandwich form factor SFX case, like the Ghost um, S1. It's actually exactly that sandwich layout. That is, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I gotta say, you can't fault the performance. At 4K Ultra Nightmare, we are sitting at anywhere from 150 to just shy of 200 frames per second in Doom Eternal. I mean, that's what you'd expect for a 6800 XT hooked up via PCIe 16X interface to a Ryzen 8-core CPU. I mean, that's the point of this thing, right? It's small, mm, sort of, <laughs> and performs fastly. I guess. The other point is that it's also a, it's a fully enclosed mini C computer. How's the performance of the system without the rigmarole? Well, by itself, it's pretty good. Um, mm. The 5700G is a 65 watt CPU, so it's not super hard to keep cool, but this thing does it really silently. Um, even trying to put it through a thermal torture test, it only ever got to about like 67 degrees on the GPU right. and 72 degrees on the CPU. Even now, the vast majority of the noise is actually from the GPU. Yeah, and if you wanted to, you could even run it with PBO, Position Boost Overdrive. That is really pushing against the 120 watt power supply though. Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'd recommend and that. Probably wouldn't recommend it. I even got it to run a 1050 Ti, also pushing up against the power limits. Wait, without yeah, external with, power? Without external power. Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> but you can. The downside is that there's no room to grow. With a 5800X3D, it handled it, but it, you never got full boost clocks. Right. So what upgradability is there really? It's Basically nothing. <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to figure out who this is for. I can afford a GPU, I care about gaming performance, or why would I buy this? but I don't always want to take my GPU with me. I want to be able to pull 
my CPU storage, RAM, and motherboard off, go get a brick, power brick to take with me, and then I'm gonna pack them together, I'm gonna go, but I don't need my GPU. I feel like what they could have done is if they made it so that this whole platform has like extensions for all of your power, you plug this little platform through here, and then you can just slot this in. All of the plugs are on the same side, you slot it in, you take it out. Power's delivered on the same side, your PCIe lane's on the same mm -hmm. side. Then it's literally like you walk, you go, oh, I need to get going somewhere. Yoink. Yeah, but why are you taking this with you? I don't know, maybe a bike to work. <laughs> and like, this is a little bit too much. You or, take this to work with you? Like maybe you're in a co-working space and you have like important documents, but you also have the same system. Like if you're a contractor, Maybe you want the small computer to take somewhere with Get you. a laptop. Yeah, I know, but maybe you want more power. Maybe you want this message from our sponsor. <laughs> Seasonic. Seasonic's Prime TX 1000 watt power supply is a great choice for high performance systems. It features an 80 plus titanium rating, which means less power gets wasted during power conversion. The TX 1000 is also fully modular and features hybrid fan control to control overall fan noise with fluid dynamic fan bearings. Plus it comes with a 12 year warranty. 12 years! If you're building a new system and looking for a power supply you can rely on, you can trust Seasonic. Learn more about them on seasonic.com or through the links below. They're always there. If you enjoyed this video, maybe go check out one of our mini ITX builds. They make kind of a bit more sense than this, especially when you factor in how quick it would be to just unplug the GPU from it and take that with you on the go compared to all these cables you gotta fight with this thing. <laughs>